Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Prashant Chaudhary, Senior Consultant at Akash Healthcare. I've finished my graduation, post-graduation from the All India Institute of Medical Sciences and I have a special interest for refractive surgery which is plastic, smile and other technologies uh, dealing with the cornea. So today I wanted to just address some myths which all of us have regarding uh, these corrections. So the first myth is that plastic is a painful procedure. Uh, I get a lot of patients who think that before LASIK we are going to give them anesthesia, you know, going to knock them off totally. So that is absolutely not true. LASIK is totally painless. You feel some pressure during the procedure, but you don't feel any pain. So in fact, we just put some drops to numb the eye and we do not give any injections in the eye or, you know, put any stitches in the end or give any anesthesia because it is painless. So the first myth today is that LASIK is a painful procedure. So in reality, LASIK is totally painless. Uh, you may feel some pressure during the procedure, especially during the older blade technologies. But the later technologies like femtosecond LASIK, that's blade-free LASIK and smile, are totally gentle and pain-free. There's no need for any injections or any anesthesia during the procedure, or there's no need for any stitches at the end of the procedure. The second myth that we have is that Permanent blindness is one of the possible complications of LASIK. LASIK has been here for more than 25 years now and till date there is not a single patient who has lost his vision due to LASIK procedure. This is because the vision of the eye comes from the retina. LASIK addresses only the cornea. Now we have a wealth of data to see which patient is suitable for LASIK and typically of 10 patients who are coming to my practice every day, one or two will not be suitable for LASIK because those patients are at a risk for complications. But even then, uh, and patients who have co had complications can be easily rehabilitated by other measures and permanent blindness is not a possibility after LASIK. The other myth is the long term side effects of LASIK are still unknown. Uh, this is quite untrue because it's been there for 25 years. Now, with our scans and with our tests that we do before the test, before the procedure, we can predict whose cornea is weak and who is going to have complications like post lasic ectasia, who is going to have issues of dryness, who is going to have issues of glare. And because of our thorough preoperative investigations, we check the size of the pupil in all conditions, the dryness, the corneal scans are done, we are able to very accurately predict which patient is going to have what problem and we do not suggest to LASIK to any patient who has a possibility of any problem. Another myth is that all LASIK outcomes are same. So the choice of the uh, place where you're doing the LASIK or the surgeon who is doing the LASIK does not matter. While finalizing the clinic or uh, hospital, the main consideration should be price. So this again uh, is like saying that you can drive in a Maruti 800 or Mercedes, you will reach the same destination. Uh, there are many technological advancements which are there with certain machines which give better contrast of vision like the AAA profile or HD profile of the LASIK which is there with Mel90. Smile gives extremely crisp visions which my patients generally tell me, ki, you know, I see HD vision. So there is a difference from machine to machine and if we do not uh, do the procedure in a very uh, you know, smooth and guarded way with a lot of experience, then the results can be suboptimal. We have done more than 2000 procedures with a 99.9% .9 success rate, which is much higher than what usually is, uh, is documented because we are so thorough in our preoperative checkup. So I would say it definitely does matter who does the procedure and where it is done. Especially if you look at the no newer technologies like SMILE. SMILE requires some amount of corneal experience and definitely you would want a person doing SMILE to have experience doing corneal surgeries. Uh, one common myth, uh, this is very common nowadays, is that Contura LASIK is better than SMILE. So first we need to understand what is Contura LASIK. Contura LASIK is a fancy name for a topography guided LASIK. 
that means that the surface of the cornea is made smoother with LASIK along with removing the power. This technology is available in most of the machines. Uh, it has been available for over 10 years now and it is going to make a difference in a small percentage of patients whom we can predict postoperatively. Most patients will do much better with SMILE which has been shown to induce much less you know, high order abrasions or um, minor powers than a LASIK does. Creation of the flap dryness is there with a uh, after contour LASIK. Those are not there with the smile. Smile is totally flap free. It's blade free, and uh, the amount of dryness which you have after contour LASIK is not seen after smile. Then one uh, myth which is there is that LASIK can be done only for those who are under 40 years of age. This is a very, very important thing that I would like to emphasize here. With the advancements of technology, now we have a lot of discerning patients above 40 years of age who say, I have a glass power for distance, I have a glass power for reading, and you can take out my power for distance, but what about reading? I'll still require glasses. With uh, technologies that like uh, press beyond, we are able to remove the glass power for distance as well as for reading. So this is a technology which has been giving us 96% success rate and only 4% of patients 44 years to 52 years of age after the procedure feel the need for any reading glasses. So LASIK can be done after 40 years of age. And the last one we have is that SMILE is a new technology which is not a tested method for correcting powers. SMILE has been here for over 7-8 years now and whatever data we have right now shows that it is a very uh, reproducible method and a method that gives consistent results which stay stable over a long period of time. So SMILE does give stability of results and uh, it is now a tested technology. In fact, in most parts of the Western world, the practice is shifting from LASIK to SMILE as soon as the FDA approval of SMILE had come a couple of years ago. Thank you so much.